from me. So here we go. The countdown has begun. It is the first match of today's fifth full cup. Here we go. Cracky gonna drop down onto that yellow, straight over to the red. There he goes. And spots his opponent there above. And this is kind of the standard thing, really. You know, Cracky didn't have the most standard spawn ever, but it, it ended up being the standard. Oh, but here comes the LG still hanging around there. And Cracky gonna get a lot of damage done to him. So he has to be very uh, cautious now, very careful and just take it easy because now his opponent early on has established a stack advantage and look this is exactly what glad Kia could do he can go after establishing that stack advantage with the damage he can get the red and look he's gonna go for the pressure he might just try to finish it now but are he gonna mount the defense and oh, wow glad Kia always staying just around the corner it's very cautious and you know, step. there is the red pickup coming up it, you know, nevertheless, he will pick up that red and just evade a fight, which is exactly what he wanted. Wasn't ready for that. I think he's more ready for it now, but this position's a little bit awkward. Going to dance above with the railgun. Cracky now over at the mega. He can, he can really, he really wants this mega. I mean, if he wants to play it slow, it's really gonna be off the back of this mega pickup because you can see that he's pretty stacked for armor. It won't help him too much more to get a lot of armor. And it looks like he's getting some unfortunate lags there. He's gonna spot that red was just taken. And there is Blood Kia, the, the culprit of that red steel. And Cracky gonna miss his shot. So still not able to get his grips quite onto Glad Kaya, but now he's really well and truly ready to mount an offense. But he just has to find the interception. There it is, with the drop onto Glakai. He will pick up the red mid fight, proving problematic for Kraki, but he's going to be able to get out of there. But too much damage sustained, a bit of lag in the mix as well, gonna really hurt him. But you can see some very nice timing from Kraki there, going to enable him to pick up another Mega very, very smoothly. And it's time for round number two. And this time he's gonna be in time for this red, so he might be able to get himself on that so that he can take it mid-fight, and he will indeed deny that from Gladkaya. So Gladkaya gonna hit well from above, but still I think that Krucky is really winning as far as stack goes here. He can take some damage, it's fine. Every time Gladkaya takes a shot like that from Krucky, it's painful, and there finally the finish comes. Krucky in with the first kill, and that's going to be after two and a half minutes lead. He's looking at extending it straight off the bat, and there it is, two to zero already now. There is the Mega up on the spot, and wow, brutal aim from Krucky, wow. This is great to see. Could, I mean, he's got some solid item timing on him, some good control, but look at this, he's showing us some great ability with the main weapons as well, with the Lightning Gun and the Railgun in particular, standing out strong. A bit shaky because of the lag perhaps too, but now it's kind of... He let the floodgates open, and all of a sudden, all these frags are just flooding through, and Krucky has... In th I mean, I just want to give some perspective here again. Two and a half minutes went by, and that's when the first frag was made, around the 2.30 mark. It's three minutes at, at the point in which we see four to minus one. Krucky in some trouble now at this red, though. Maybe a little bit too aggressive, fighting off more than he can chew. However, with the mega pick up there, he's going to replenish some, but he's got to be careful. This is a great play from Gladkaya, but Krucky was just speeding through there, too quick to deal with for Gladkaya, and that's going to be another frag. So Gladkaya really needs to start considering slowing this game down, or else he's going to be in a lot of trouble. But still there's a lot of time left on the board, and Krucky taking quite some points of damage right there. Five seconds until this Mega, and Krucky well and truly placed for this. His opponent, Gladkaya, not really pressuring him in the slice. It's something that he could have done really, not necessarily for free, there would have been risk involved, but it would have been risk worth taking. And Krucky gonna find him now on his terms. Krucky gonna go for more damage, hits. I think that was direct. And Gladkaya is most certainly screaming with agony as Krucky scans the, oh, what a flick rail from Krucky there. Gonna go for the chase, finish what he started. Picks up another, six to minus one, and definitely Krucky, despite any lag and shakiness here, is showing some, quite some potential against Gladkaya. And seven to minus one, Gladkaya just unable to stop the bleeding. And there is Gladkaya once again, and Krucky 
has more than enough stack to really force this issue. And we know that he loves to do that already. We've seen that in his personality as a player. He has no fear. So five minutes gone and it seems that with with that time also disappears the hopes of Glakai in staying in this game. Great, great rating from Krucky there. Hits a second one as well go and gets the trade. And really that first rail shot, I love the, the way that he waited there because what he's really doing there is just trying to read the pattern of, of movement in his opponent. And he had the calmness to wait and then hit and then press fire at the appropriate moment to connect the shot. So Krucky definitely showing some great aiming abilities. I mean, I want to. It feels like you know. I would. I'd like to say that he's a TDM player or something because he's definitely got some good aim on him. And Gladkaya trying to deal the damage with the plasma gun. Krucky though going to put an end to those shenanigans and once again reassert his dominance. Krucky has come low very many times, and I really hope I haven't been saying his name incorrectly. But I'm not. <laughs> someone will have to. Someone will have to maybe in the chat tell me how I should be saying it, and I'll have to open up the chat at some point. So I can see that, but here is Krucky once again, defense on the choke point. Goes a bit awry there, so has to back away, but we can see that he did not concede a frag in that effort, so he's really happy with the outcome. He's, it's kind of the situation whereby plays don't have to go his way. As long as he doesn't concede uh, frags, he's got such a lead now, that, such a buffer, that he does not need really to worry. There's a red up on the spot, and Krucky got some rockets in on the... On the uh, on the pickup there of Glakaya. But still, Krucky is most certainly well and truly in the lead, and it's going to take something special from Glakaya to really turn this around. He has managed to slow the game down, but the problem now is not really anything else but the time with which he has to make this comeback. And Krucky is going to go in with the defense of this red armor, getting out of position there. And Glakaya with the steal. This could be the chance, but he's got to hit the shot. Still so stacked is Krucky. And that's going to be another frag. 10 to minus 1 for our Finnish player here. And our Finnish player, Kraki, is definitely connecting. Made the point once already, or rather several times, that Kraki is definitely hitting those rails. So we can see his percentage here. You know, 37 LG, 43 percentage on that rail. Pretty decent. And uh, let's just have a quick look at the pickup. Pickups definitely favoring Krucky, but by no means has Glankaya been denied a huge amount of armor and health. You know, he's had armor, he's had health and weapons to work with. It's really executed by Krucky, his life. They are able to defeat, and who is, you know, who stands their next challenge, stands to be the next challenge in their path through the tournament. And Krucky catching Glankaya once again, and and uh, as you can see, he, uh, like I said, you need to choose situation. And we all know the other, the second part of that. So, Glakaya dispensing the cooler wisdom. And once again, it looks like he's in a lot of trouble. Krucky, pretty low, but still, it's not going to really be much of an issue as he will pick up the Mega. He had positioning and. And Glakai just didn't have the ability to finish him off there. So will he, will he get off of minus one, really? That, is maybe, that would maybe be nice. Get off of minus one. Looking unlikely here. Krucky with by far a superior position as far as weapons go. And look at this. Glakai going to just jump straight onto him. Hits the rail, though. And unfortunately, unable to have the time to finish, finish that one off. But nevertheless, you know, it's, it's okay. No shame in you know, losing. And we haven't seen... Black here on the stream before, at least on a Sunday Cup. So hopefully we get to see a lot more of him and Krucky as well. I'm not sure if we'll find Krucky again, his, his perspective again in this tournament. There's a lot of great players to spectate. So we'll see. I'll update you guys as soon as I know what the next game will be. But it looks like this one's closing out as quite a convincing win for the Finn Krucky. And we have to be grateful to Finnish people. Saunas, or as they pronounce it, sauna, which is, uh, I enjoy a good sauna. And it's a shame that we don't have them in every single home like they do in, in uh, Finland as well, because that would be pretty damn awesome. But here we go, the game is ending. And there you go, the buzzer sounds, and 14 to 1 is the final change for either player. And that is just a taster of the Quake Live action here that you can come to expect from the rest of the games hit you know, today on this stream. Of course, we have so much more 
action coming up. And just a very quick highlight, if you just joined us, of some of the players we have today, we've got the likes of Sparty Cypher, a Demon, uh, Ash and Toxic, I guess those are the biggest names of today. So some very, very awesome names. Sparty Toxic Finals maybe, Demon uh, Toxic, maybe Cypher Toxic, who knows? But I think Toxic and Cypher got to be in the mix there. But we'll go to a quick break, guys, and we'll be back very shortly. So stay with us, and we'll be back bringing you more Quake Live action here live on Face of TV right after this.